What's up guys? In this problem from urns A, B, and C, each one with different number of balls inside, and we are told that here, we are said that one urn is chosen at random, and two balls are drawn without replacement, which are re white and red. What is the probability that they come from urn B or urn C? The first thing that I would highly encourage for you to do in order to solve problems like this is to first count the number of total balls inside of each urn. So let's do that. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6. So we have a 6 total number of balls inside of urn A, which from those 1 is white, 2 are black, and 3 are red. Let's do the same thing for urn B. So feel free to pause the video if you like in order to uh, get this at your own time. Let's do this together. So 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 balls in total. And I'm going to split those between the different colors that which are available in this urn. So it's 2 white, 1 black, and 2 red. And for the third urn, so we have 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 3 is 12. 12 balls in total from which four are white, five are black, and three are red. So this is what we have so far. Six plus five is 11, plus 12, it's 23 balls. So this is what we have in total. And we have different colors inside. And then we are said that one urn is chosen at random and two balls are drawn without replacement, which are white and red. What is the probability that they came from urn B or C? So in this problem, what we need to first do after figuring out this first part, which is critical, it's then apply the total probability theory because we are looking at essentially a probability and a probability as like a total like in the denominator, and the essentially what you're looking for in a numerator. So the total probability goes to this to this guy, and in order to do that, essentially the, pro the total probability is stating that we have a third of chance of choosing each one of the urns because we are not explicitly explicitly told. Let's say that it's fifty percent coming from urn. A and then remainder from the other urns. Since we are not said that, essentially we know from because they are not telling that, so we are going to assume that that we have an equal probability of choosing each one of the urns. And we are choosing balls from each one. So we are going to have something here plus something here plus something here. And this whole guy is going to go that way. But before that, we need to find these elements, and this is what we're going to do now. So in order to find these elements, we are going to find out what is the probability of getting those balls, or white and red, from each urn. And we are said that these are two balls. So essentially, it's a probability from A and we have the total number of balls from A, so it's 6, choose 2. And then we have its white and red that we are interested in, and we want one from each. So it's 1, choose 1, times 3, red, choose 1. So this is our total probability. And then let's we'll do the calculations in the end. Just follow me from like for the part for the thought because it's the most important thing. From N B we're gonna do the same thing. So total number of balls, this is why we did this in the beginning. So let's start with that one. And we need to know how many balls we want to withdraw from the from the urn. So it's two balls. So five choose two. And in a numerator we're going to uh, want to put there what we are actually looking for. And this is white and red and two balls. So we have two available from white. So it's two choose one times two choose one. And I'm gonna do the same thing for probability of C. I'm gonna get that here. So again, total number of balls that we have available, it's 12 choose two. And we're going to choose two balls. Remember, it's not one or the other. We want two balls. So one, it's one and another one. 
So from this one, we have four, so we're gonna choose one. And from the other guy, we have three, so three, you're gonna choose one. So this is the first part in order to get those elements. I'll do the math for you real quick here. So the first one is equal to one half, one fifth. The second one is two fifths. And the third one is two over 11. So in order to get this guy, let's uh, pick off where we were doing before. So it's one third times one fifth plus two fifths from n b plus two over 11 from n c. That will give us a total of 43 divided by 165. This is what we have. We just get this out of the way. So now that we have that, we know that the total probability, so the one that goes below, it's 43 divided by 165. And on top, we, we are now, we are asked from the beginning of the problem, we are asked what is the probability that they came from an B or an C. So since we have the probabilities of A and B and an C, essentially what, the only thing that we are left off to do here is put on top the probabilities of both. So it's 2 fifths plus 2 over 11. And this whole monster will give us a total of 74.4%. So this is what we had did. So we essentially we had three uns, A, we had N, B, we had N, C. We found out the total number of balls first from each one. Then the second step was to do a probability where we would be choosing the no total number of balls from like from white and the total number from red. And then from the total number of balls we had, choosing two. Same thing for A, B, and C. And then we got that um, from the pro total probability. So it's one third, because we have three n's, times the probability that we found from A, B, and C. So we had this number here, and that's what we did. So this is what we had here. And then in the end, essentially we are do doing only the favorable outcomes that they ask us in order to solve. In the specific case, just from from these two specific urns. So you just plug in the numbers and we arrive to the number that is expected. So in this problem now, so we're continuing on, we are now asked to find, suppose that two balls are drawn at random without replacement from urn C. And we already counted that in the beginning that they have 12 balls inside. So what is the probability that the balls have the same color? So in this one, it's the same thing, so a probability, remember this is not counting, this is a probability. So from that n, we have a total of 12 balls from this guy. And we are choosing two. So this is the total amount of outcomes that we have possible from that n. 12 choosing two. And now we are specifying exactly what we are looking for. So what is the probability that the balls have the same color? So we can either have two from white, two from black, or two from red. So it's four, choose two, or because it, you are exhausting the possibilities when you have two balls from this color, or five, choose two, or three, choose two. That's all you're doing here. And by doing the math, you'll find that this is equal to 19 over 66.